So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. So, Era 4's preparation, and we get one Neutronium, that can go over there, uh, Gold, Titanium, and Gold for there. Then, on here, we want one Scientist, one Engineer, and two administrators. And our super project, we have anti-gravity field worth six points, requires four titanium, and you have to get rid of an engineer. Uh, we got a square thingy in a triangle, or a square in a circle. And whenever you do a build, oh, it costs one less resource. Nice. Then our buildings, so we've got to give up any number of resources and you get to go back that many and get that much XP so that's kind of nice uh, water so we cover that one up Ooh, kill the person get seven water <laughs> oh evil um, I don't remember uncovering this oh it happened during um, Chronobots didn't it oh that's quite handy for a free action you can turn one water into any one resource that'd be really helpful and then we got one water to get two uranium and oh, an administrator will come back refreshed, two water and you can recruit either a scientist or an engineer, handy. Then on the paradox front I need to roll for this and chronobot for this. So we start with me and oh no paradox for me. Then chronobot gets one then powering up, we go one, two, three, and I guess I will pay the free water to do a fourth one. And then warping, and I'm going to go for a Neutronium. Then Chronobot is going to do two. Then I'm going to send a scientist to get me a gold and a titanium. Chronobot gets a one, so is going to build a power building, blocking this space here and taking this tile worth two points as free action. I'm going to do that to get two water and I will then spend one water to place an engineer here building this which reveals a space an action that would require an engineer gives requires free water and gives two power cores so that would be handy early on in the game especially and that's going to cost a water, a gold and a titanium because I've got the one discount. And Chronobot 4 do, 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 is going mining. Oh no. So he wants the Neutronium to complete his set and then he'll also want a Uranium. Because he'll then have one of each. So he gets rid of one of each and gets five points. So because of Chrono doing the build when he did, I am out of water. I needed one more water, which I would have had if I had been able to go on the cheaper build space, but never mind. So I'm going to send a scientist to get me four water. Actually, cancel that. I never took my water income. When, when I did the power up, I should have received water because I powered up four. So I should have received four water from that. So I should have four water. Right. Okay. That changes everything. 
So what my scientist is actually going to do is go do some research. And hmm, I'm going to set it to triangle and then roll this one. We get people. So triangular people. Chronobot gets a four. So four is here and it is the highest number there. Uh, so that is build a water building and he has to go here so takes back first player and the water building they're both worth two points so it takes this one off the secondary stack I'm then going to send this genius discarding a water to get me to uranium chronobot Gets a free, which is rest if it has enough water. It only has four, it needs five, so it doesn't have enough water. So instead, it does a recruit action. And it will go here to get this engineer, which completes the set. So it gets rid of them all and gets five points. Then it's my go. And yet again, I have completely messed up the water situation I do not have enough so I'm gonna have to get people and the only way I can get people is by doing the nasty one I've just completely miscalculated on this one it's costing me dearly but there we go they are refreshed and then my action, I'll use this scientist to get me a victory point and six water. Chronobot, who doesn't seem to be able to go wrong, <laughs> does a one, so he's going to time travel. So it removes its only one that isn't in this time period, goes up on this track and this moves along. So now that I have water and people um, I can look at doing some other things. So I'm going to use this administrator and a water to put this back up. Then Chronobot gets a four so it will do a recruit action getting an administrator. I'm going to send this engineer mining gave me this titanium and a gold then chronobot gets a two which is down here so we'll be building a water building which it cannot do because it's maxed out at three so instead it gets a victory point and two water and the exosuit still goes out to block the space. I'm going to go back in time one, which will get me a victory point. And I'm going to take with me the titanium, which fulfills the need for that. So I go up the track. The Chronobot would then do a time travel action, but there's nothing for it to go back in time to. So actually it will pass. Then it's me and I'm gonna use this genius here as an administrator, paying for water because of my building to refresh my non-existent tired workers. But I get three victory points because I'm at the max of the track. So it's kind of just trading water for victory points. We then retrieve our workers and I'm not going to use my ability and then check for impact, which we are at. So we hit impact, which is just double sided there. But this means a few things change. Firstly, we flip the evacuation tile because the city is now burning the capital so anyone can do this except the chronobot will never do this only I will 
and that relates to the criteria set by your path. We also put out random city collapsing tiles. So this one means you do a second research action when you do research there. This one just gives you two points. Then on these we've got, uh, you do, you get an additional one of the recruit bonuses when you perform that recruit action. And this one is you do an additional recruit. Then finally on building costs one less neutronium. And when you do the build with this, depending on the position it's going on, you get that many points, so one, two, or three. And the final change is our number of exosuits. So now Chronobot can only use four, and I only get one for free, and then have the option of buying these. So preparation, and now that the impact has happened, this top cube is always neutronium. It doesn't matter what the card shows. So, let's see what the card does show though. <laughs> it would have been neutronium anyway. Uh, and then two gold. That uranium can go over there. And titanium. Oh, and we need another gold over here on the right. Okay. Then workers. So one scientist, yep, one engineer, and two administrators. Our new super project is Exocrawler, and it's worth six points. You need two uranium, three titanium, a thingy in a square or triangle in a circle. And this is a free action that allows you to use a powered up mech and one of your available workers in order to do an additional action on the board. So in essence this allows you to do two actions in the same turn. Buildings, and uh, we get time machine needing a scientist who will come back refreshed and it allows you to go back two spaces. Uh, water, we get, uh, you get five water using a Administrator, it's worth two points on the greys. We get a two point tile, use an engineer to get a power core. And then on these ones, uh, if you use an administrator, it comes back refreshed, but you can use anyone. And it allows you to refresh your workforce. Then Paradox, and the only place we have any warp tiles is there. And so it will be Chronobot only rolling. And they get two Paradox, which means they get an anomaly. Then power up, so I can have one for free. And then I guess I'll use free water for another one. And then I get two water back. Warping and the Chronobot first. It's gonna warp one. And I am gonna warp, I'm gonna warp a mech and also a titanium. Then Chronobot kicks things off with a one. So it doesn't have the resources to give up, it does have the water, it doesn't have the resources. So instead it gains two water and a victory point. I'll then send an engineer to do a build action. So it's one less titanium, one less neutronium. And I'm gonna build, I'm not confident about having things to throw away for this. So I think I'm gonna build this one here. It's worth two points and costs me two water, one gold, and one titanium. Then Chronobot is going to have a five, which is get two water. I'm going to send my scientist to get me water and a victory point. And I might as well 
use the free action there to get my two water now. And I think I know what Chronobot's going to be doing. Building, because every single one is on a build. Uh, it's just a matter of what. So let's have a look. Four, 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 four. Uh, can take another grey one, so it will be building a grey building. So it takes up this space, but it doesn't gain the benefit from the tile. And this 2.1 is worth the most, so it'll take that. I'm then going to come here, costing me four, to refresh my workforce. And gave me three victory points. Chronobot probably going to be building again, but not guaranteed this time. Uh, three, yep, yeah, it is another building, and does have room for one of those. So it goes up here, and they're both two points, so it takes this one here. Let's have an engineer come do some mining. I'll take a gold and a gold. And what will Chronobot build this time? Four. Ah, okay, not building. Uh, has the five water. So we'll be doing that. I'm going to send a genius mining and I'm going to get a uranium and a gold. Chronobot one. So building an energy building, which it does have room for. So that goes there and that one's worth two points. Going to use an administrator on there, which costs the water, and gives me three victory points. Chronobot gets free, which is a research. So that's the last of their suits, and they get a square. So they've got two triangles on a square currently. I'm then going to send this scientist travelling back in time with a neutronium to complete this. So that'll move me up on the track. The Chronobot's out of exosuit, so it's also going to time travel and remove one of these. So I then pass, ending the actions, and we move on to clean up with retrieve workers. I'm not going to buy anyone, uh, so we just clear up these mechs, and wherever we take one off of one of these city tiles here, we flip it over, and that is now a blocked space that can't be used. So building is not very likely right now. And we also... Do the same with this research one. And if all six of these tiles were flipped, that would be the end of the game. But they're not, so we prepare for a new era. So it doesn't matter this top one says gold, it still actually comes out as neutronium because of it being after impact. And our workers... So we need another science, another engineer, and these can go away. Our second to last super project, and we have the dark matter converter. So again, it's worth six points, and it costs, let's see, we've got two titanium, two gold, two water, a square of DNA, or a triangle and circle. And what does it do for you? Well, as a free action, you kill one worker and instead gain either a genius, a neutronium, or a core. And new buildings. This one's worth, wow, three points. Uh, requires a uranium, go back up to three and you get one point for doing so. Uh, oh, this we've seen before, immediately get free water, free action to get one water and worth a point. And then we've got engineer and free water to get 
either one neutronium or any three of other resources and use an administrator and two water to get a genius then paradox i've got a roll for here and chronobot for there so let's see what we get so one paradox for me and for chronobot one paradox powering up we'll go one use free water for a second one and then we get two water back then the warp um well i'm really struggling on water so i'm definitely going to get some water i'm not going to be able to do both of those this round i don't think we'll go for a neutronium as well and chronobot then does two tiles which were obviously essential to them number two which is hiding under there doing a construct action so they want to construct water which they can't actually do but this still goes out and will block a space and they get a victory point and two water i'm then going to send an engineer out mining to get me two titanium prono four we'll do a build action which again it's already got maxed out buildings but it does lock a space and get another point and two water i'm then going to send a scientist back in time and they're going to take a powered up exosuit with them so i get this back which moves that along and i get a point and chronobot probably going to try and build again he seems to like doing that uh, number two yep building again um, and again it was a water building which he can't do um, he also can't even actually place any exosuits because all the spaces are blocked but he still does get the point and two water i'm now going to send another scientist back in time and this time with titanium to fix that warp and chrono we have two which is here so he's going to do a recruit so he's going to block off top space and take an engineer i'm then going to go here and get six water and a victory point and I might as well do this free action to get two more water chrono we get a four which is research so he'll put his last exosuit out blocking the last of the research spaces and rolling the dice gets a circle which means that he has a set of free annoying i'm then going to use a genius and a water to get three points as chrono is out of exosuits he'll time travel back to get rid of this which moves him up here i'll then use a scientist and a water to get two uranium and chronobot will of course now pass so it's still with me the last thing i can see to do is use this here for four water getting me these two and three more victory points then retrieving workers we'll flip that one and that one and these come back too so checking for game end we've still got one there so we don't end the game yet we've got the final era to go so the final era's preparation and oh, no those stay that goes away so we get that that and that then workers one of everything 
super project is synthetic endorphins. It's only worth five points, uh, but it's pretty easy to get. Free titanium, free water, and a scientist. You need a triangle with DNA on, though, uh, or a square in a circle. So, yeah, not that easy, actually. And the ability here means that at the end of the game, if you were in the negative VPs for morale, you wouldn't actually lose any negative VPs. And if you were at the point where doing the force workers would kill a worker, you can do it and you don't lose a worker. So, not very helpful at this stage, really. And our final buildings, ooh, worth four points, hey? Okay, uh, I should go back to requires a scientist, worth three points. Uh, you just get free water, but I can't build any of those, so that doesn't help me. Uh, two points, get rid of water, you get one of anything. Potentially useful. Potentially. And then we've got uh, worth four points. You go back an extra space when you use a power plant. Our final paradox and Chronobot's got a roll for there and there, and I have to roll just for this one. So my roll. Okay, none. That's perfect. Uh, Chronobot has two rolls. Oh, two, which means they get an anomaly and it doesn't matter what it then rolls for the other one and it removes one from here because that's where it has the most then power up and I think I need to spend all my water and hopefully I don't regret it because I do need two exosuits I think oh but of course I do gain two for that one and the final warp chronobot warps two and I, I have no idea what I actually need. Um, I think I need water, which I can't walk because I did last time. And I think water is literally the only thing I need. So I'm not warping anything. Okay, so Chronobot's going to kick off with a one, which is time travel. So it retrieves the furthest away and goes up there. Then I am gonna send an evac. And this requires me to have three water buildings, which I do. So that gets me two points, and then three additional points for every combo of gold and genius. And I have one, two, three gold, and one, two, three geniuses. So that's 11 points. And then Chronobot gets a two, which is a recruit. Yeah, recruit. So moves along and goes there and gets a genius. I'm going to use this to get two water, which I'm actually going to be using because I'm going to be building this, which is gold. I'm going to use an engineer, so it's only one titanium, two uranium, and the engineer is going to go there, which is going to cost another water. And I'm going to take this four point red building. Chronobot gets a two, so wants to build a grey building, can block a space but can't actually do the build because he's maxed out on buildings but does get two water and a victory point to add to their stack I'll then use a genius and a water to go there getting me two uranium and chronobot gets a five which is rest and move morale up if you can afford it which yeah chronobot easily can now my scientist, along with the uranium, will get me a victory point and six water. And Chronobot gets a two. So build, I can't actually put out 
one of these, but still gains the victory point on water. I'm going to use Genius and Full Water to get three points and rest up all these guys. Pronobot gets a four, which is mining. And you'd like neutronium and gold, so we'll go there to get both. Uh, I miscounted on my water. Ah, oh, this is bad. So, use that there with one water to get three points. Chronobot, number four. Wants to build a water building and can't, so gets two more water and another victory point. Then I use my final water to send the scientist back in time one to return this neutronium, which moves me along there one and gets me a victory point. And Chrono's mystical dice will hold a number four. So he's going to try and recruit and can't. So he gets a victory point. Two water. And I'm then going to pass. So that is the end of the actions. And cleaning up, we see that we've hit both end conditions simultaneously because all of these are now blocked and it's the end of the final era. So time to tally up our scores. And we start with untangling the continuum. I do not have the two water for this, so I lose two points. Crinobot, however, gets to freely just take all of their back. Then buildings, and I have 12 points. And Crinobot here has ooh, 25 points. Then Super Projects, I've got six points. Chronobot has none. Anomalies, Chronobot has minus six points. I don't have any to worry about. Uh, time travel, eight points for Chronobot, 14 for me. Morale, eight for me, and five for Chronobot. Uh, breakthroughs, one point for me. One, two, three, four. Plus a set is another two, so six for Chronobot. Then victory points, got 10, 20, 30, 42, and 15, 21. And then, of course, I've got the minus two for failing to clean up the uh, warp there, which gives us a total of Chronobot, 59 points, me. 81 points! Finally beat the Chronobot! And that's Anachrony! And for once, the evil Chronobot was defeated, and the Path of Harmony now rule the world. Bow down to your new overlords. Okay, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as liking this one, sharing it, and of course do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.